been lied to. For too long, people were saying to you that you can play with the beautiful giant open world where there's nothing to do, or you can play a literal bug and glitch simulator. And for all this time, you thought that if you wanted to play something space game related, you either needed to move into dangerous camp or citizens camp. And let me tell you, there is a game that is better than those two. There is a game that has a giant open world, which allows you to do literally anything that you want the way you want and where you can still achieve all the things that you want doing these things and it's not broken and it's not buggy and it simply works and you know what game i'm talking about and before you dangerous and citizens will jump with the pitchforks at me yes this game is better than those two and you can fight me if you want and of course i'm talking about the best space sim that you can play right now and it is x4 foundations okay before explaining to the people what who doesn't know what this game is let me address some grievances for the people who already know what game is no this game is not buggy mess it has not been for a while now yes the game looks beautiful and no game does not have an ai issues anymore at least no more than in any other game and for the ones who doesn't know about this game let me explain what this game is and you decide whether it is good or not well first things first x4 is the most unique space sim because it is not a kind of sim it's a sandbox because every playthrough will be different for you because of the space around you will be simulated differently every time you start so all the conflicts all the expansions all the buildings all the economy will be different each and every time so if you start the game once it might be a very peaceful and very relaxed galaxy you or you might get flung into the war-torn galaxy where there is no place of calm but okay let's get a little bit into the details so X4 is a first-person space sim where you control your character in this, well, unique sector of the galaxy. You play only in space and there is no planetary landing. This is probably the biggest downside of the game, but I have to say it right now. This is literally the space sim, not land on a planet sim. This is a space sim. The game is happening, of course, far into the future. And you're playing in this galaxy populated with a bunch of different races. And of course, amongst them are the humans and multiple factions of those humans as well. And story-wise, I will not be telling you a lot about this because I would probably get into a few hours of explanation what this base lore is. But simply, you can say that the space is divided into different sectors that are connected with jump gates. And well, there's a political turmoil between all the different races. And of course, there is an issue with an AI who is multiplying and destroying everyone. This is the shortage gist of the game. And yes, if you're interested, this game has a story. Not just a story, this game has a multiple different storylines. Even for the different expansions of the game. And for the different races of the game as well. So yes, if you want to space it with the story, you will have that one here. And no, this is not just a text floating in the space. This is a fully voice acted story with all the characters and all, and all the things like that. Do you have this in ED or Star Citizens? No, you don't. A true beauty is that when you start the game, you are not forced to do anything including the story you can just move on and do whatever you want just go floating into the space that you want you have a choice of multiple and multiple and multiple ships all the different designs based on the race that it made those ships and you can start from the very small and tiny ships like one man crew ships into the large capital ships with literally hundreds of crew and yes you can actually hire the crew itself and yes you can walk into your ships and yes, you can walk because you do have a space legs without actually this BS shooter stuff. You can walk on the space stations, you can walk on the ships. And yes, you can even own a capital ships and control entire squadrons and entire armies. Well, eventually, of course. That's not as easy as a thing because you need money in this game. A lot of money. But first, it might seem that you need to do a lot of grinding, but well, kind of not. Because you might actually make others grind for you. Well, all you need to do is just, well, work a little bit to get yourself a second ship or even give your ship to someone else, but it's better to get the second ship. Hire some NPC that will work for you and you can give him or them, you have multiple different ships and multiple different crew to, well, do whatever you ask them to do. Do you want them to mine certain asteroid fields? Well, you can tell them to do that. Do you want them to, well, pirate and start killing everyone? Well, you can ask them to do that as well. Do you want them to explore different sectors of the galaxy that you don't know about? Well, you can do that. Do you want them to trade for certain goods? Well, you can ask them to, to do that as well. And all you need to do is just relax and reap the rewards and see how your space empire expands. 
Eventually, you will become powerful enough to hire an entire fleet of the ships. And now you can have an either economic fleet or you can have like fleet of freighters who are trading goods, hauling goods, mining and things like that. Or you can go and just straight away buy a little fleet carriers and buy the fighter squadrons and go to war with everyone or with anyone you want. And yes, you can actually have your own sectors as well in this galaxy and be a little king of the sectors. And economy is entirely controlled well, by different factories and by different wharfs and shipyards. And yes, you can build those ones too. Yes, build from scratch. And, it, and they will be integrated into galactic economy. You can create in your own economy without being dependent on anyone, including your own wharves and shipyards who will create the ships for you. So you won't even need to buy them. Just mine all the necessary materials with your ships, build their all the necessary components with your, well, factories, and then build the ships with your wharves and shipyards. Which game does allow you to do that? And you can just send them to wage war on anyone that you want, or just protect your fleets, or just maybe fly around. Which game will you allow you to do that? And you can freely even teleport to those ships if you want, and see how they are flying, and, so, and how they're performing their duties. And I cannot believe that I can say this. All this is running locally without any online play. You don't need to be connected to internet. You don't need to be dependent on some servers or some BS updates. This game just works on your computer. Yes, you need a bit of powerful CPU to run all this simulation on your computer, but, but you don't even need something that powerful. It's that good. I didn't even touch the mods for this game, including the Star Wars mods, allowing you to literally play in a Star Wars universe with all the Star Destroyers and the Republic ships and everything that you want. Because game is fully moddable. And game does not have any in-game transactions or any type of monetization. Only thing that game asks you is when they give you an expansions, they ask you to pay for it. And expansions are really expanding the game. Adding all the different races, all the different ships that you can buy. And even adding entire separate professions. Like for example, one of the previous expansions, Tides of Avarice, adding the profession of the scrapper. Where you can just scrap the old and derelict and destroyed ships. Which you can add to your own fleet. Like for example, you can go and wage war, destroy a bunch of multiple ships and space stations. And then move on with scrappers and scrap everything that you destroyed. And then sell it. And don't tell me that Ellie Dangerous and Star Citizen allowed you to do anything like that. At least not on this scope. Only game that comes close to the complexity and sheer variety of this game is EVE Online. But EVE Online is an online game which is kinda a bit too hard to play right now for the beginners. Well, this one is not. Game works, AI works, it looks beautiful. It maybe it does not look that beautiful at Star Citizen and Elite Dangerous, but, but also those games don't do that many things at the same time. So if someone will tell me that, oh, you will have the choice between Elite Dangerous or Star Citizen to play the space games, you don't. Because Elite Dangerous became a shallow mess. Yes, I love this game, but now this game is practically doomed to die. And Star Citizen is not game at all. It's completely unfinished and there is nothing to do except for superficial first things. For me, there are only two space games that you can play right now. It's either X4 if you want a single player experience or EVE Online if you want to play Rust in space. So yeah, you do have an option. And yeah, I hope that you choose your options wisely. Oh yeah, and you do have an option to play in VR in this game. Not natively, but it's not that difficult to set it up. Our YouTube memberships are up and running. And if you like videos done by me, and if you like the reviews that I put out, and everything else as well, consider hitting the join button near the subscribe button under this video. This might not be a lot for you, at least for some of you, but it will be tremendous help for me keeping this channel going. Well, I guess this will be it for today. Thanks for being here with me. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'm gonna see you in the next one. See ya.